the two touch gloves. The 15th and final round. The issue, so far as we can see, in doubt. Each fighter wanting to leave the officials with the memory of a big final round. That's what Norton failed to do in his last fight against Ali. And by the precepts of the referee that time, Arthur McCanny, that's what lost him the fight. So Kenny doesn't want to make that mistake again. He wants to dominate this final round, and he is punching. Norton covering up against the, or Young covering up against the ropes. Norton punching away to the midsection the way he did in the middle round. Kenny wanting to leave a big impression. That was a low blow. There's a rush to the right to the stomach, up to the head. Young just covering. Young not doing much fighting in this, the 15th and final round. I think Young was hurt by that succession of blows to the stomach. Kenny is really working this final round. Young substantially inactive so far in this round. Kenny drawing upon every last resource. He looked the part of a tired fighter. Now, Young suddenly connects to the head. He looked the part of a tired fighter in the 14th, but look at him now, throwing leather, wanting to clean up on Jimmy Young in the fight. But now Jimmy starts the counterpunch the way he so suddenly can and does. And he's there, he's got Norton, Norton covering. The crowd on its feet, cheering now for Jimmy Young. And the other half of the crowd on its feet and cheering for Kenny Norton. And they both deserve all the credit in the world. One minute left to go in this fight. Basically fought tactically by Norton the way he wanted to. And now Jimmy Young is dominating the round. He's coming on in the second half of this round with his counter puncher. And Norton's head the target. So, as I said, it's shifting tides and ebb and flow, and you've got to make your own judgment in the subjective scoring of a fight. That's what the judges will do. Less than a half minute left, and Jimmy Young throwing the punches. Now Kenny Norton coming back at him. We're counting down to the end of this bout. for these two fighters as the fight ends. We await the decision. I turn it over to Chris Schenkel as I go into ring center to talk with the winner. All right, thank you very much, Howard. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge Ray Balderu scores 147-143 Norton. Judge Arcoli scores 144-142 Young. Judge Jim Rondu scores 147-143 Norton. The winner by a split decision. And so Kenny Norton, Norton has won a split decision. Jimmy. Jimmy, I know how terribly disappointed you are. May I have Jimmy for a moment? I know how terribly disappointed you are. I dislike having to talk to you at such a moment. But you felt you had it won, Jimmy. Yes, I did. He seemed to follow his battle plan to go to your midsection. All right, here are the two fighters. Well, congratulations to you, Kenny, on the victory. Jimmy, I want to congratulate you on a fine fight. Even though the decision on a split basis went against you, I think you proved all over again to the American people you've been one of the most underrated fighters of recent years. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. I don't want to bother you anymore. You're too disappointed. And so, Jimmy Young, the disappointed loser. Kenny Norton, the close split decision winner. Let's go back to Chris Schenkel at ringside. It's been an exciting tactical fight. It became an exciting action fight, too.